What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUp Free Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can quickly change units inside of your SketchUp Free models. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so obviously there are SketchUp members or users all over the world that use different units. So by default, the units in SketchUp are in Imperial. However, that's actually really easy to change just by coming over here and going into the model info settings right here. Within the model info settings, you can see how there's information about the different units in your model. So in this situation, say that you wanted to go to metric. You can click on the length units function. You can come down here and you can select meter, centimeter, or millimeter as your default units right here. So notice how now if I click on this object and I use the move tool right here, notice how my units of distance are now in meters right here. And this is currently snapping to a length of one meter. You can kind of see this kind of like snapping in here um, like this. Now you could still type in a value, right? So you could type in like six and a half and it would go six and a half. And so you can toggle off your length snapping in here just by clicking on this little button right here. Now, say that you're looking at things like areas or volume, you can also adjust those using this option right here. So say for example, you wanted to figure out how much of this wall material you had. If you go into your entity info, Right now, I'm just gonna scroll up right there. It's gonna give you the area of your face in square inches. Now for me, I wouldn't want this in square inches. I would probably want it in here as like square feet. Um, it's what I would usually price something like this in. So what I can do is I can just click on the drop down right here and it's going to change my units to square feet. So notice how now this shows me that this is 123 square feet. So similarly, if you were doing something with a uh, volume, so if you had like concrete or something like that, you can change your volume units to cubic meters or cubic yards using the drop downs right here. And you do also have the option to set the precision of your angle units in here if you do want that. And notice how, by the way, if you change these units, your dimensions are going to change as well. So say that I was to come in here and add a dimension for this wall. So we're going to click in here like this. Notice how my dimension is currently in meters. But if I go into my length settings right here and set this to architectural, notice how my unit is going to change to that unit of measure. So you can use this in order to set units that are shown in the dimensions in SketchUp as well. All right, so that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything else that you're looking for in SketchUp that you can't find. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.